Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Hanoi Hanoi, or Hanoi in Vietnamese, is the capital city of Vietnam, located in the northern part of the country. It is the second largest city in Vietnam after Ho Chi Minh City, with a population of over 8 million people in the metropolitan area. Hanoi has a rich history dating back to over a thousand years ago, and has served as the capital of Vietnam for several dynasties. As a result, the city is home to many historical and cultural landmarks, such as the Temple of Literature, Hong Kim Lake, and the Old Quarter. In addition to its historical and cultural significance, Hanoi is also a bustling modern city with a thriving economy, attracting many international businesses and expatriates. The city is known for its delicious street food, beautiful architecture, and friendly people. Halong Bay Halong Bay is a beautiful natural wonder located in the Quang Ninh province of Vietnam. It is known for its stunning limestone cliffs and emerald waters, and is a popular destination for tourists from all over the world. The bay is dotted with thousands of small islands and islets, which create a unique and breathtaking landscape. Visitors can explore the bay by taking a cruise, kayaking, or even taking a seaplane tour for a bird's eye view. Halong Bay is also home to a number of floating villages and fishing communities, where visitors can learn about the local culture and way of life. The area has been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1994. Dragon River Bridge the Dragon River Bridge is a bridge that spans the Han River in Da Nang, Vietnam. It is also known as the Ca Rong in Vietnamese. The bridge was designed by the American architecture and engineering firm Lewis Berger Group and was opened to the public on March 29, 2013. The bridge is 666 meters long and 37.5 meters wide, and it has six lanes for traffic. The unique feature of the Dragon River Bridge is its dragon-shaped design, with a head at one end and a tail at the other end. The dragon is illuminated at night by thousands of LED lights, making it a popular tourist attraction in Da Nang. The bridge is also designed to rotate 90 degrees in order to allow large ships to pass underneath it. And the rotation is controlled by a computerized system. This feature has made the Dragon River Bridge an important transportation route for cargo ships traveling up and down the Han River. Overall, the Dragon River Bridge is a beautiful and functional piece of infrastructure that has become an important symbol of Da Nang's modernization and economic growth. The Golden Bridge The Golden Bridge in Vietnam, also known as the Ca Vang in Vietnamese, is a pedestrian bridge located in the Ba Na Hills, near the city of Da Nang. It opened to the public in June 2018 and quickly became a popular tourist attraction due to its unique design and stunning views. The bridge is notable for its unusual appearance, as it appears to be held up by two giant stone hands emerging from the mountainside. The hands are made of concrete and have an aged, mossy appearance, while the bridge itself is a bright golden color, hence the name Golden Bridge. The bridge is 150 meters long and offers panoramic views of the surrounding mountains and forests. It is located at a height of 1,400 meters above sea level, and visitors can reach it via cable car from the nearby Ba Na Hills Resort. The Golden Bridge has become a popular destination for photographers and Instagrammers, as well as tourists seeking a unique and memorable experience in Vietnam. The Rice Fields of Sapa Sa Pa is a town in the Lao Cai province of Vietnam, famous for its picturesque rice fields and scenic mountain landscapes. The rice terraces of Sa Pa are a stunning sight, with their cascading layers of vibrant green fields set against the backdrop of misty mountains. The rice fields of Sa Pa are not only visually stunning, but they are also a testament to the ingenuity and hard work of the local farmers who have cultivated them over generations. These terraced rice fields were created by the Hmong people, who used traditional farming techniques to create an intricate system of irrigation channels and terraces on the steep mountain slopes. The rice fields are not only important for the local economy, but they also serve as a symbol of cultural identity for the Hmong people. The rice paddies are not only used to grow rice, but they are also home to a variety of crops, including corn, beans, and vegetables, 
visitors to Sapa can take guided tours of the rice fields or even try their hand at farming themselves by participating in a homestay program with local families. The best time to visit the rice fields is during the harvest season, from September to October, when the fields are at their most vibrant and the local farmers are busy bringing in their crops. Overall, the rice fields of Sapa are a beautiful and unique cultural landmark that showcase the ingenuity, hard work, and cultural heritage of the Hmong people, as well as the natural beauty of the Vietnamese countryside. The Mekong Delta The Mekong Delta is a region in southwestern Vietnam where the Mekong River empties into the South China Sea. It is a very important region for Vietnam both economically and agriculturally, as it is one of the largest rice-producing areas in the country and a major hub for fishing and aquaculture. The delta is known for its vast network of waterways and canals, which are used for transportation, irrigation, and fishing. The region is also home to many floating markets, where locals sell goods and produce from their boats. The Mekong Delta is a diverse region with a rich cultural heritage, and it is home to many ethnic Khmer and Cham communities. Visitors to the region can explore traditional villages, sample local cuisine, and experience the unique way of life that has developed in this part of Vietnam. However, the Mekong Delta is also facing challenges, including the impacts of climate change, land subsidence, and upstream dam construction on the Mekong River. These issues have the potential to disrupt the delicate ecological balance of the region and threaten the livelihoods of the people who depend on its resources. Dray Nur and Dray Sap Waterfalls Located 25 kilometers from Buon Ma Thuat in the province of Dak Lak, in the Central Highlands, the Dre Nur Waterfall and the Dre Sap Waterfall are two places not to be missed if you visit Central Vietnam, you will be able to enjoy an incredible view of the waterfalls and the relaxing sound of them, but also visit the three-kilometer-long cave and walk among the surrounding vegetation. Puk Quoc Island Puk Quoc Island is a beautiful tropical island located in the Gulf of Thailand, off the coast of Cambodia and Vietnam. It is the largest island in Vietnam and is a popular tourist destination for its white sandy beaches, clear blue waters, and lush green forests. Puk Quoc Island is known for its pristine beaches such as Long Beach, Sa Beach, and Ong Lang Beach. These beaches offer various water activities such as swimming, snorkeling, diving, and jet skiing. Apart from beaches, Puk Quoc Island also has several attractions such as the Puk Quoc National Park, which is home to several species of flora and fauna, including the Puk Quoc Lungur. The island also has several fish sauce factories. Where visitors can learn about the traditional method of making fish sauce, Puk Quoc Island is also known for its delicious seafood, which can be enjoyed at the island's many restaurants and food stalls. The island is also famous for its night market, where visitors can shop for souvenirs, handicrafts, and local products. To reach Puk Quoc Island, visitors can take a direct flight from Ho Chi Minh City or Hanoi. There are also ferry services available from the nearby town of Ha Tien in Vietnam and Kampot in Cambodia. Na Trang Na Trang is a coastal city located in the southern part of Vietnam, on the east coast of the South China Sea. It is the capital of Con Hoa Province and is a popular tourist destination in Vietnam, known for its beautiful beaches, clear blue waters, and abundant marine life. Nha Trang has a long coastline with numerous beautiful beaches such as Nha Trang Beach, Bai Dai Beach, and Doc Let Beach. In addition to its beaches, Nha Trang is also home to many other tourist attractions, such as the Vin Pearl Amusement Park, Panagar Cham Towers, and Long Sun Pagoda. Nha Trang is also a great place for water sports, including snorkeling, scuba diving, and jet skiing. The city has a tropical climate, with warm temperatures throughout the year, and it is particularly popular among tourists from Russia, China, and Korea. The local cuisine is also worth trying, with fresh seafood being a specialty. Hoi An Old Town Hoi An Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in central Vietnam. It is an exceptionally well-preserved example of a Southeast Asian trading port dating from the 15th to the 19th century. Hoi An was a major commercial hub for merchants from Japan, China, and Europe, who traded silk, 
ceramics, spices, and precious metals. The old town is characterized by its narrow streets, traditional shop houses, temples, and wooden houses with Chinese, Japanese, and European architectural influences. The town's most iconic landmark is the Japanese Covered Bridge, which dates back to the 16th century. Hoyan Old Town is also known for its vibrant culture and culinary scene. Visitors can explore local markets, take cooking classes, and sample a variety of traditional dishes such as chow lao and banh mi. Overall, Hoyan Old Town is a charming and picturesque destination that offers a glimpse into Vietnam's rich history and culture. Tran Quoc Pagoda Tran Quoc Pagoda is a Buddhist temple located on a small island in the West Lake, Ho Te, in Hanoi, the capital city of Vietnam. The temple was originally built during the reign of Emperor Lai Nam De in the 6th century, making it the oldest temple in Hanoi. Over the centuries, the temple has undergone several renovations and expansions, and it now features a harmonious mix of architectural styles, including Chinese, Vietnamese, and Indian influences. The main pagoda is a 15-meter-high octagonal tower with 11 levels, each representing a different aspect of Buddhist philosophy. The temple is a popular tourist attraction and a place of worship for locals, who come to burn incense, make offerings, and pray for good luck and fortune. Tran Quoc Pagoda is also known for its beautiful location, surrounded by water and lush greenery, making it a peaceful oasis in the heart of Hanoi. Hue, the former imperial capital. Hue is a city located in central Vietnam, and it was the imperial capital of the Nguyen dynasty from 1802 to 1945. During this period, Hue was the political, cultural, and religious center of Vietnam, and it was a hub of royal court activities. The city is famous for its historical landmarks, including the imperial city, also known as the Citadel, which was a walled palace complex that served as the residence of the Nguyen emperors. The imperial city has many notable features, including the Forbidden Purple City, which was the private residence of the emperor and his family, and the Tai Hoa Palace, which was the throne hall of the Nguyen dynasty. Hue is also known for its beautiful natural scenery, including the Hung River, also known as the Perfume River, which flows through the city and is a popular spot for boat tours. The city is also home to several pagodas and temples, including the Tian Mu Pagoda, which is one of the oldest and most famous landmarks in Hue. Today, Hue is a popular tourist destination and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting visitors from all over the world who come to explore its rich history and culture.